I'm Brian Patton. I'm here with my buddy Steve Beecham, and we're here to, today to talk talk to you about uh, buying condos on, on the beach. And Steve's a, an expert in the, in the mortgage business, owns Hometown Mortgage, and you can find him at hometownmoney.com. And Steve, tell me what you know about buying a condo. What 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 are the uh, obstacles you got to uh, get over, and what are the things you need to know? Well, the number one thing is if you're going to buy one as a second home, you have to put down at least 20%. If you're going to buy it as an investment property, you typically have to put down about 30%. So that's the first hurdle. But that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing is is the, is the project or the condominium project approvable with Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Typically what that means is that 70% of the units in that overall project are owned by people uh, they're using it as owner occupied or second home. So you have to have 70% of that. If there's a large concentration of investors in that project, then you're probably pretty much doomed. And what we do to figure that out is, is we send what we call a homeowners association questionnaire to the person that's in charge of the homeowners association. And there's a, some stuff that they have to fill out on there and it has to pass certain, a certain litmus test, if you will. So one of those questions is how many of the units are owner occupied? How many total units? How many are owner occupied or second home? So that's the biggest thing you need to ask if you're down there looking at it, because most of those projects are, pr are primarily investor uh, owned, and so it, most people can't qualify for that. A couple other things you need to know about is when we look at the homeowner association, we're looking on their liability insurance. Do so they have adequate insurance? Another thing we're looking at is do we have um, uh, any lawsuits or judgments against the HOA. And so those are things that are important. You need to know about that. You need to ask the, uh, the agent to get you in touch with the homeowner association president. If you put a contract on one, you want to have a due diligence period where you can go in there and let, give me time or somebody like me in the mortgage business to send this questionnaire and get it filled out. So that's pretty important. A couple other things, if it's uh, got commercial space on the bottom or retail space, the retail space cannot be more than 20% of the overall square footage. That typically doesn't happen, but you need to be aware of it. Another thing that we run into is that the homeowners association, the people that own the units have to be in control of the homeowners association. The, de the developer cannot be. So the developer has to have already turned that over to the homeowners association, so that's pretty key too. So those are some of the main hurdles that you got to jump through. And um, right now that's been pretty difficult, especially on the beaches in the panhandle. Sometimes when you get outside of the panhandle or some areas that didn't have real high concentration of development, we can uh, usually do it. So that's what you need to look for. Assuming you're not paying cash and you don't fit into those categories, what, what are your other options as a buyer? Right now your primary option is probably a local bank or a bank in that area. A lot of times some of these projects are in trouble and some of the banks will are even looking to try to find better borrowers to replace some of the borrowers that they have. So if you're buying one and it's a foreclosure or a short sale, you may want to ask your agent to contact that particular bank to see if they'll work with you on it. A lot of times they'll they'll do a deal with you because you may be you may be um, a better borrower than the one they've got on loan. Oh Brian, by, by the way, you know, um, I hardly ever mention this, but Fannie Mae has a web page. You can go to eFannieMae.com, look down on the left hand side and pull out condominiums and PUDs for planned urban developments. Click that link, go to the next page, look down at the bottom and it has a list of states. If you go into that state and you find the name of your project listed there, then Fannie Mae will do the loan as long as it has maintained 51% owner occupancy, but they'll bypass a lot of other issues. I mean, it's pretty much a done deal if it's already in there. The problem is, is that most of those are not done in beach areas. Most of those condominiums are approved mostly in cities in Florida and around the country because they're usually developers that are trying to do first and second uh, time home buyers and they're trying to get them approved for lower down payment financing. So, But anyway, you might want to check that just in case. If that's the case, you're in great shape. So check it out.